Back in 2014, when Facebook paid $2 billion to acquire Oculus VR, it looked as though the startup was the only game in town when it came to virtual reality. But two years later, we have Sony just about to launch its PlayStation VR, Google launching its Daydream headset, and the market is looking much more crowded. What is not clear is how soon any of these people that are investing billions of dollars in virtual reality technology convince regular folks that they want to put a VR headset on their head. Some analysts predict that PlayStation VR will soon become the best-selling headset on the market after it goes on sale this month. Andrew House, who leads Sony's PlayStation division, is optimistic about its prospects. I think, you know, we look forward to a really good launch based on a couple of key factors. A $399 price point for the headset itself, 40 plus million PS4s that are all essentially uh, PlayStation VR ready um, day one, and some great experiences. So altogether, I think this is really a, uh, a milestone for where VR could potentially start to hit the mainstream. One of the biggest challenges for VR is that many people have never even tried this technology. It is quite difficult to even describe the experience without trying it yourself. So setting up public demonstrations of VR will be crucial to stimulating consumer interest. I think we're now at the stage where we, we've potentially had hundreds of thousands of you know, separate VR experiences at retail, at events and trade shows and so on. Uh, and I think almost uniformly people are really surprised and intrigued by you know something that they've really never seen or played or experienced before and that's translated certainly in the early stages into very very positive pre-order numbers um, so i think uptake of the product is going to be very good indeed here at oculus connect the company's third developer conference it's talking a lot about social vr and bringing avatars that look something like real people into your virtual worlds Oculus is also trying to bring down the cost of the PC that is required to power a virtual reality headset, in some cases as low as $500. Oculus has also just released Touch, its new motion-sensitive controllers, which allow people to use their hands with its Rift headset for the first time. But while control is important, so is comfort. One of the strengths that I hope that we bring to VR is as a consumer electronics manufacturer with a long history of developing products, we did put a lot of emphasis into the comfort factor and, and how the headset would sit, um, you know, the weight, uh, the materials that we chose in order to try and really get to the, the, the best weight. The balance as it sits on your head was something we gave a lot of consideration to. Google's new Daydream View is taking a more unusual approach. The headset, which incorporates its latest Android smartphone, is made of clothing material, rather than the usual plastic or metal that we might expect with a gadget like this. Google hopes that people will be more willing to wear something like that because it is lighter and more familiar. With Google's Daydream, Sony's PlayStation VR, and Oculus now releasing its new touch controllers, everything is in place for this to be a big Christmas season for virtual reality. But it's also clear that this is the first of many years of development of what is still a very early stage technology. This is Tim Bradshaw at the Financial Times in San Jose.